Mike Spencer loved being a pilot. He flew commercial planes for 17 years, until two years ago when his life exploded literally. I lit the fuse, I held it above my head, uh, and it detonated in the tube uh, in my hands. The Kentucky resident was airlifted from Montana to Seattle, where surgeons saved what they could of his hands, eventually replacing a missing thumb with a toe. I lost my ring finger, I lost the tip of my middle finger, and I lost the thumb off of my left hand. I damaged my uh, thumb on my right hand uh, severely. Uh, I lost my index finger and the tip of my middle finger on my uh, uh, right hand. Mike's severe injuries from a mortar are consistent with new research by UW Medicine in Seattle. In a first-of-its-kind study, researchers identified the type of fireworks that caused the most severe injuries. There were a number of patients with hand injuries and most of those injuries were involved the thumb because they were holding these shells or mortars or other kinds of fireworks. Patients who had f uh, fireworks injuries from shells and mortar tended to have injuries to their eye, injuries to their face. Patients who had injuries to their eye also um, had exposure to uh, fireworks that had a projectile component, like the rocket types. The study looked at 10 years of data for a five-state area, involving 294 patients with severe injuries. 39% of injuries were from shells and mortars. 23% came from homemade fireworks. For adults, 86% of injuries came from shells and mortars. For teens, 34% were from homemade devices. And for children, 44% of injuries were from rockets. 21% of our 294 patients had injuries to their eyes. And more importantly, two-thirds of those patients had some blindness afterwards. The study also showed that 179 patients suffered hand injuries. And like Mike, 37% had at least one amputation. Fireworks are very dangerous. Please be very careful with them. Leave them to the pros. I wish I had. Have a good time and be safe. And probably the best thing to do is attend a, you know, sponsored event where you can watch the fireworks from afar and protect your family members. From the newsroom at UW Medicine in Seattle, this is Megan Clark.